Okay, here's a quick, well, hopefully quick, video of uh, some more in-depth stuff about this BC-25. Um, I know some people are looking at them and they're kind of curious of what is actually in them and what they can look for to make sure everything is, is working. Uh, the first thing is we've got this CPU card. This is your basically your brains for this one. Um, over here we have the dip switches that actually control which coin buckets you have and how they work as well as your adjustments for your your uh, bill validator. But the key one right here is your fault LED. If you have anything on here at all you will have uh, you have a fault and you'll need to have the fault guide in order to figure out what's going on. So that fits right over here in this little slot. Next to where your bills are stored. And it's a pretty tight fit. Make sure you get it in there good. Now the other thing with this is the bill validator. Here's the bill validator itself. Um, I don't think it really matters if it works, but it needs to provide the correct signal to the computer in order for it to vend, either test vend or regular vend. Um, and one of the things that will cause an error are these two light bulbs, one in the front and one in the back. If they're not lit, it will not work. So we'll throw this back in here. just slides on in and we'll plug it back in um, the next thing is of course hoppers you need two hoppers and in the back there's some lights over here down to the bottom are our test bend switches Ooh, apparently I have a token stuck in them <laughs> you get your test bend switches and they're usually covered, you open it up and boom, they're right there. Over here is where the power supply is. It's kind of hard to see. And your uh, circuit breakers. Also, there's an on-off switch for your system. So, I just turned it on. And as you can see, we're going to have three lights back here. These three lights have to be lit. And like I was saying with the, the build validator, both lights should be lit for here. And when you're done, you should have, I don't know if you can see it right there, you have a, a red light. Now, if you have the bill changer unplugged, you see down here, we now have a, a fault code down here, a P1. And we unplug the other one, and again, we still have the P1. I should be able to test bend, and I can't, because now I have an error code of six because I have a bill validator fault. Plug it back in and you see everything's working again. Now all that's happening with these is right here we have a gear that turns when you vend it turns the cable chain inside these hoppers and pulls the tokens up and they'll fall down past that light as long as you don't have to have anything in the hoppers um, to try it out you just need to be able to get that dot on the main CPU. Um, as far as coin hoppers are concerned, if pretty much written right on them what they'll take. Um, so both of these are 955 and below. However, 
Um, I've modified one using a large hopper uh, chain and uh, guides for the back um, because the the large hopper I had was kind of banged up and beat up and the other one pretty much works for 984s but not a hundred percent as far as this wiring mess that I've got up here this is I've tapped into this coin changer um, this was originally set so if you put a quarter in you would get a token out um, I've actually tapped into that switch and it changed my service switch to be a uh, push button and that will actually vend I'm thinking I need to change that and move it down here to where these test bend switches are because the uh, the switch doesn't work great um, it has to be a very momentary switch you have to tap it very quickly in order for it to, to bend um, the other thing I can try to get a hold of is I don't actually have it connected um, I because I tore it apart in order to get it to work more uh, efficiently I had some bad um, I had a bad connector on this but this is what you would normally see um, for your power supply um, it's showing your your 5 volt is good your 14 volt DC is good your 30 volt DC is good and 40 volt DC is good um, as long as you have all four lights going, you should be able to get everything else running. Um, I know um, there's been some people who have just figured out how to uh, make their coin changes just dump tokens by rotating the motors. I don't believe that is possible with this one. Um, I may be totally wrong on that. Um, the, there's a couple people that have done that before, but they were doing it on the, uh, the smaller token machine. Um, let's see, as I drop all this, let's see if I can get this to rotate forward. So here's the backside. Um, basically here's the hopper cups. And that's about all you'll see in here. Um, you get your three motors back here to turn it. And if one of, I understand if you just supply voltage to these, uh, it's hard to see, three motors down here, or one of the three motors, you can actually get that motor just to turn and just crank up the, uh, the tokens until you're, you're done. But hopefully, you know, all this will be working for you. I haven't tried LEDs. I'm tempted to try LEDs and all these lights to see if that helps them out. Because when I brought this home, the uh, the lights um, burned out and they didn't travel very well. Um, they didn't like being banged around. So um, I don't know what else I can really tell you um, I also have uh, I have the service code so if you need service codes I can I can at least look those up for you um, they're not great as far as what's going on with them but um, other than that I think that's probably about all I can give you all right Hopefully uh, this helps.